Hello everyone, quarantined from coronavirus. I know that you guys were going to miss me tremendously and all of my really lame, yet really funny jokes. So, to make your life that much better, I've decided to pick 10 of the best jokes that I could find in a five minute period and tell them to you so that you guys get a little bit of a laugh and have a little bit of lightheartedness during this stressful time. And because there's only so much Disney Plus and Netflix that you can watch in one day. So why not watch your teacher tell bad jokes? You know. So, moment of laughter with me, Coach Shelton. First joke. I promise this one might be one of the worst ones, but it's so good. So, why are they not allowed to play poker? in the jungle. I'm going to give you this awkward moment to try to figure it out. It's, it's really awkward for all of us <laughs> at this point. Because there's too many cheetahs! No. Um, is that how you spell cheetahs? How do you spell cheetahs? With an H on the Cheetahs! <laughs> You know, fun times. All right, this one, this one's good. Why did the golfer bring two pairs of pants to the golf course? Why did the golfer bring two pairs of pants to the golf course? Ready? Ready? In case he got a hole in one, right? I've never got a hole in one. I mean, I have. Got a hole in one of my pants. Luckily, it wasn't like, you know, oh, there's my underwear. But happened to BJ one time. He went to preach and uh, ripped the seam of his crotch of his pants, like, first Sunday at church, at our new church. And I'm not talking about, like, a small rip. Like, I literally put my head through his pants. Like, that's how big of a hole it was. And I have a massive head, as you all know. So, can you imagine preaching a sermon like, oh, don't look now. BJ's got his drawers out, all right? So that's what happened. But yeah, in case you got a hole in one. <laughs> they, get, they get better and better. Why? Why? <laughs> I have a lot of audience. Why did the bike fall over? Spell it like the number two. Oh, he was too tired. Emma keeps ruining all my jokes, everyone. So if you're not getting laughs out of this, it's because Emma keeps correcting my spelling. All right, Miss Walker did not pre proofread my PowerPoint. So sorry. <laughs> Some of you are like, I'm too tired of these jokes. Well, you don't have to watch, but you should, because they get better from here. <laughs> This was one of my personal favorites. <laughs> As I have now told every teacher still here in the building this joke. Why do seagulls fly over the sea? <laughs> I'll give you a hint. They don't want to be breakfast. Because if they flew over the bay, <laughs> They would be bagels. <laughs> it only gets better, I promise. This one is probably slightly inappropriate for the state of panic that we are currently in. <laughs> but it's still hilarious, all right? So, what's the difference in bird flu and swine flu? Bird flu and swine flu. I ought to be giving bonus points out if you can guess these, because if you can guess them, you are as corny and lame as I am, which is hard to do, all right? Bird flu versus swine flu. <laughs> one <laughs> requires a tweetment, <laughs> and the other one an oinkment. <laughs> Get it? 
birds tweet, pigs oink, tweetment oinkment. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Again, sick jokes, all right? Not only are they about sick, they're also sick in the fact that they're really not that funny. They're, they're pretty lame, but it is what it is, all right? How do you tell if a vampire's sick? He's wearing a mask. No, he's not wearing a mask. All right, how do you tell if a vampire's sick? You see if he's coughing. <laughs> They get worse from here. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be on Google Classroom, everyone. You should be watching it currently from Google Classroom or YouTube. So, uh, this one's sick sick joke. Think about it. So here we go. Why did the pig? Why did the restaurant hire a pig? <laughs> he was really good at bacon. <laughs> Now, the question is, was he really good bacon, or was he really good at baking? We'll never know. All right. <laughs> this one is my second favorite. Second favorite. Second favorite. <laughs> what has more lives than a cat? I really want you to try to figure this one out because if you can figure it out, you have become my number one favorite person on the planet. What has more lives than a cat? <laughs> a, a frog! <laughs> because he croaks every day! <laughs> if you don't know anything about frogs, you have completely missed a chance at a really good joke. Frogs, instead of like ribbiting, like some of you are like, no, frogs don't croak, they ribbit. Yeah, well, they, it sounds like a rabbit, but it's more like a <laughs> You know, that deep throat thing they do is really, really weird if you think about it. It's really annoying also at times, like, ribbit, ribbit. And, but it croaks every day. I'm ruining the joke as we go. <laughs> Why did the invisible man turn down the job? I'll give you a hint. It's the same reason that some of you are refusing to do your homework. All right, why did the invisible man turn down the job? He couldn't see himself doing it. <laughs> Got some live laugh tracks in the audience, all right? They have heard me tell these, and now they're laughing at their lameness all over again. So I know these are good. I know they're good. All right, last joke. You have to be semi-intelligent to understand this one. Emma. <laughs> What's the difference between a poorly dressed man on a tricycle and a well-dressed man on a bicycle? Poorly dressed man on a tricycle and a well-dressed man on a bicycle. Tricycle, bicycle. Poorly dressed, well-dressed. So again, one more chance. What's the difference between a poorly dressed man on a tricycle and a well dressed man on a bicycle? <laughs> a tire. <laughs> Both sense of the word. Right? So I hope you guys got a laugh. I hope this took you away from edulastic or whatever you currently are working on or avoiding working on. And maybe de stress you just a little bit over the panic of today's epidemics and all that's going on in the world. So, miss you guys, see ya.